A couple of days for family and friends of the 16-year-old Gadsden High School student who was run over and killed outside of his own home in Barino. KTSM 9 News reporter Estefania Seyfert spoke with his neighbors and his friends. She is here now with tonight's update. That's right. I talked with some of Alberto Romero's neighbors, some who say they witnessed the incident, and they say it's still too fresh to talk about it so soon. Back at the school, his classmates and teammates still trying to process that he's gone. I had him for a class, so it was pretty hard because I was, I was just waiting for him to come in class and just waiting for him to say hi to him, just to see him one more time, just to hear his voice one more time. A harsh reality Roberto Plata says he still can't wrap his head around. A longtime basketball and baseball teammate of 16-year-old Adalberto Romero, fondly known as Beto, killed in a hit and run outside his home in Barino. He was a great kid. He was. A, he had a. He, he always had a smile on his face. No matter what the situation, he always had a smile on his face. That, as well as his witty comebacks, what Plata says he'll miss the most. Like I loved him like a little brother. So I know right now he's look, he's looking at us right now, that from up there. I just want to tell him that I miss him and I love him. I got the, the news and well, I just broke down. It's just like losing a brother. Jesse Treviso, one of several students helping prepare a memorial in the element Beto enjoyed the most. He was like the best soccer player back in elementary. He got to middle school. He's like one of the best basketball players. Get to high school, he was a, he was a great, you know, baseball player. So A gathering at the Gadsden High School baseball field for Friday's game after school. He was a real big kid here. He was a spirit. He was a heart of Gadsden. By the way, Bethel's dad will be throwing the first pitch at that game against Alamo Gordo High School at 4 p.m. at Gadsden tomorrow. Estefania Safer, KTSM 9 News. Hi, right, Stephanie, Thank you very much. And a GoFundMe was created to raise money for Bethel's memorial with a goal of $5,000. At last check, more than $12,000 had been raised. That's